Hi everybody, I'm Alex. And I'm Tyler. Welcome to Unit 5, False Friend. Juan Orlando Hernandez, the president of the Central American country Honduras, has long been considered an ally of the US when it comes to curbing unwanted migration. However, it has recently been alleged that uh, the US was not the only group sending Hernandez money. To put it bluntly, the US appears to have been played yet again. Bluntly. Bluntly. Honduras is one of the poorest countries in the Western Hemisphere and also one of its most violent. Uh, people have been trying to leave the Central American country for years in search of better opportunities and recent flare-ups in violence have only added urgency to its exodus. Exodus Exodus It's now estimated that about 15% of the Honduran population lives in the United States though it's impossible to get an exact figure because many of them are in the country illegally. One reason for the crime problem is that many of these countries are en route for smuggling cocaine from South America to the United States. Under pressure from the Trump administration, Honduras agreed to try to prevent its own citizens from moving north. It also agreed to allow asylum seekers to come into the country from other places um, whose migrants want to move to the U.S. These migrants are allowed to apply for asylum in Honduras, even though it's not a particularly viable destination for these refugees, once they're in Honduras, they're no longer the U.S.'s problem. Asylum Asylum Viable Viable Where do illegal drugs in your country usually come from, do you know? Let me just check my drugs really quickly and <laughs> check the label. <laughs> I don't know. I, I honestly don't know. Um, I know that based on the, the recent election and a lot of the news coverage that from South America there's a kind of some drug cartels and yep. some pathways, but I'm sure things come from all over um, and then they move around within the United States mm -hmm. through various groups, but I don't exactly know. Uh, yeah, as I understand it, I mean, uh, for the United States, uh, if it's marijuana, uh, or cocaine, it tends to come from either Central or South America or both. Um, marijuana is often grown in Mexico, I think, mm -hmm. and uh, cocaine largely comes from places like Colombia mm -hmm. or Brazil. Um, as for heroin, I think heroin comes from the Middle East, but I'm not 100% sure. That's going to do it for the preview. We'll see you back here in a minute for the review.